Hello and welcome to Zag Season, a Gotham Production Studios original podcast. I am Raul. I'm Danielle. I'm Autumn. I'm Brianna. We are here to debate our office's most unpopular and completely meaningless opinions. And my Zag is this. No one likes pigeons. <laughs> but, but, pigeons are New Yorkers. Okay, <laughs> pigeons are New Yorkers and they've earned our respect they are first of all people forget pigeons are smart birds okay pigeons were messengers for a long time okay this city used to run off of pigeon messengers all over the place people sending notes and i want to revitalize the pigeon in new york i think we should Honestly, do away with the New York City Marathon and replace it with a pigeon race, an annual pigeon race, revitalize interest in New York City history of pigeons. Uh, and that's that's my zag is just that pigeons are way better than everybody thinks they are. Are you like in counseling? <laughs> <sighs> this is what I get. So this let, is what let, I me, get let me start by saying for preaching the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I do like pigeons, honestly. When I when I see them bobbing about on the street on my walk to work, I'm like, yeah, buddy, you also need to get to the office. Cross yes. the street with me. Yes. Um, I like how some pigeons are different colors. So you see a big flock of boring gray pigeons, and then you see a brown one, and you're like, ooh, okay, mama. Um, <laughs> they are a like vibrant that. community. They are. They like fashion just like we do. Yeah. Um I don't know. They I'm, like, you ever I'm see fashion? the shiny ones? Did you just say that they like fashion like we do? Yeah, some of them look different, and that's cool. They have a uh, strut? They got a strut? <laughs> yeah, no, I just couldn't. I know we're not, I know we're supposed to kind of like agree. Uh, <laughs> I don't agree at all. I believe that pigeons suck, and the reason is threefold. The first one is, is they always shit on you. Okay? I have been shit on by a pigeon. Oh, sorry. The the cursing should I stop? I've no, been... you're fine. Okay. You're did, fine. Well, did you deserve it? <laughs> no, I didn't. I was okay. just walking, minding my own business, and then also they attack you. Okay. I will walk. Attack you. So not actually not unprovoked. Not actually touch you, but they surround you, and I get nervous. They're gonna come. I also believe one of my conspiracy theories. I believe in is I do believe that pigeons aren't real oh, and that boy. birds aren't real. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. I'm okay. kidding. Okay. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I've opened up the a, floodgates this, here. That's not just a zag. That's <laughs> like... <laughs> no, I just... And then the last thing is they are not cute. Okay. Let's address point number one. Okay. <laughs> that pigeons shit on you. Yeah. You know who else shit on you? Who? People <laughs> in New York. That's New true. York streets I do are get into a, in a fight with covered in urine and feces. And 90% of it is human and not canine uh it's like this idea that pigeons you say 90 percent of feces is is human in new york yeah i fully believe are that. you a new yorker if you haven't watched someone actively pooping i have but i wouldn't say 90 percent of that there's a lot of dogs there's a lot of dogs but and a lot of animals the percentages I'm... may be different yeah fine <laughs> your mileage may vary on i'm the just saying content of your city <laughs> like we're, we... Maybe we have to have a chat. Maybe I need to talk to them. Be like, listen, <laughs> let's respect each other's boundaries. Do you be in New York? Everything you're saying, let's be friends. But you're I talking just, about pigeons. I am. Yeah, you have to have a conversation with yes, the pigeons. Yeah. Because I do feel like maybe I'm narcissistic, but I feel like they're out to get me like a lot of the times. Like I'll be walking and then they go so close to you and they are not scared. Okay, that's that's also my favorite part about pigeons and something that I actively want people to start doing is like watch out like pigeons are walking they are new yorkers and they also have the right of way like i see it all the time i've never been touched by a pigeon in new york ever and yet like you're saying they'll they'll come very close to you they know when to get out of the way i've never seen a pigeon get hit by a car i've never seen like a, a pigeon fly into a person they understand how to avoid physical contact. They're smart. They're honestly respectful. They are really good at navigating this city. 
I will say. And the people and the residents and, and everything of it, the cars, the animals, everything. My thing is just there's so many and it kills me when I see ones that are hurt without legs with like the, I just feel like we have too many of them. I'd be down for like, let's lift the pigeons up and put them on a pedestal. But can we can we just like lessen the amount of pigeons? There's I'm, also too many people. So there's correlation. Everything here. <laughs> we're talking about here, like. New Yorkers need better health care. Pigeons need better health care. Wait, I have a question. Yes. Going back to um, what yeah. you said about a pigeon race instead of the, yes. Los, the New York marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm from Every city has a marathon, okay? It's not special. <laughs> you know what would be special? Do you think, and you also think pigeons are smart. Yes. Do you think if there was a pigeon race, it would drive the pigeon population in New York City up? Do you think the pigeons mm. would desire to be involved in the race, oh. or do you think it would lessen them? See, I'm out now. <laughs> let's 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 not get out of hand here, okay? Let's just let's recognize <laughs> pigeons are animals, <laughs> and thusly need to be cared for. So uh, this isn't like I'm not expecting a bunch of pigeons to like move to New York for the race. That's not. This isn't like we're not gonna have like an influx. Well, they can like stay. They're in not hotels. gonna like book up the hotels. That's not what's gonna happen. You're okay? talking about them like they're humans, though. So the way that the question that she's asking is like very logical. Like you are talking about pigeons, like they are humans that they have the right same rights. So if pigeons hear about the race, they're gonna want to come. Yeah. And well, gonna, you know what? Gonna... I would welcome them. <laughs> More than people. Oh, with open arms. I will say that you did make me change your mind because I'm thinking about it. And no pigeon has actually ever physically touched me. They've just physically gone to the bathroom on top of my head once. Right, right. And, well, and, that's, yeah. and, and that's a thing. But again, like public restrooms, they yeah. suck in New York City. Yeah. So like what are they supposed to do? What are any of us supposed to do? <laughs> last no, point. So good. Last point. Um and I hesitate to even give this slander oxygen, but rats with wings. That's what people like to call pigeons, right? Rats yeah. with wings. They're mm -hmm. disgusting, gross, disease, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? Honestly, after the last two years of mankind on this planet, <laughs> our track record, not so great either. Pretty <laughs> sure pigeons are looking at people being like, I don't think I want to go anywhere near that. <laughs> So I just feel like I feel like human beings have put themselves on a pedestal in regards to pigeons. And I just feel like pigeons are like this forgotten, like beautiful symbol of like urban living, man. Yeah, man. And they are New Yorkers. I have a question. What are you going to do if they try to take an initiative to lessen the pigeons like they did with the rats? Oh, my God. OK, first of all, we're not rats are their own thing. Like that's not don't bring don't. <laughs> Don't come back not... next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's what I would love to see. I would love to see like I don't want to say a whole like department of, <laughs> of the city government, but like I would love to see like a little office, like an office <laughs> of <laughs> like pigeon care or something. I don't know what we would call this, but something that like, yeah, like humane population control, maybe some like protections for pigeons like i don't know maybe pitch, you know again just like getting the word out like putting on pigeon events i really think that this pigeon race would be fantastic it would i have thought about this it would be a relay race that would go from the bottom of manhattan to the to the top of the island and i do think that like people would like watch the race from their rooftops i think it would be a freaking event and are, I, they, are they flying or using their little feet? <laughs> no, they're flying. Okay. They're flying. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a horse race. Like it'd be, it wouldn't take, I don't, like, honestly, I have no idea. I've never like timed a pigeon, but like, <laughs> would it be, do you think they would take like an hour, like a relay race of like an hour for like a pigeon to get from like South Ferry? It might to, depend like, canal, on the wind that day. And then another one from Canal. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. I mean, I have one wind. question. So much. I just have a question. Um, you keep saying that pigeons are so smart. Like, how yeah. do you know that? Well, they used to be messengers. They used to do like a okay. lot of that stuff. Okay. And I think I've never owned a pigeon myself. Hopefully. But how dare you? After all we've discussed here today. <laughs> um, but I do think that my understanding here is that 
like pigeon intelligence is sort of underrated in today's day and age. Mm. That there's historical evidence of pigeons being, you know, able to take care of themselves. Let's put it that way. I'm actually 100% on board. You've convinced me. Pigeons are the smartest birds in New York City. I'm going to write my senator. Yes. Thank you. Yes. We need the office going, right? I'm not going to do that. (laughs) That's fine. Listen, not everybody has to be at the front of the line here. I'm just, (laughs) mainly, I just want the disrespect of pigeons to, like, to fade away. Mm -hmm. All right? They've earned their place. They're proper New Yorkers. And with that, this has been Zag Season. I'm Raul. Danielle. I'm Autumn. I'm Brianna. Thanks for listening. What about raccoons? No, we no no. We're not doing that. They're my biggest fear. We're not doing raccoons. They're your They're, biggest. They are my, adorable. They are, they're not cute. I was walking down the street once with an open can of Diet Pepsi and a pigeon <laughs> directly into my can of Diet Pepsi, <laughs> and I was like, "That's fine." <laughs>